If you want to learn on how to install MicroPython on Raspberry Pi Pico W, keep watching this video. The first thing we have to do is to go to Raspberry Pi website and we can simply do this by typing in raspberrypi.com in the browser. In order to install MicroPython on Raspberry Pi Pico, we need to download its framework and we can do this by going to documentation on Raspberry Pi website. When you get to the documentation tab, you have to scroll down and click on the data sheets. Inside the data sheets tab, you have to scroll all the way down and find MicroPython framework that you have to and download it. Moving on, in order to perform any type of project including IoT project on Raspberry Pi Pico W, we need a type of ID, and in this case I choose the Tani ID because it's compatible with Pico W, however you're free to choose any other ID that's compatible. If you choose to go with this ID, download it from the website and install it on your computer. After the installation is complete, go ahead and open the software because we need to make some changes in order to make it compatible with Raspberry Pi Pico W. To make these changes, go ahead to Tool tab and within that go to Options. Inside Options, choose the Interpreter tab and within that make sure to choose Raspberry Pi Pico W and click on OK. Once this is done, go ahead and close the software and now we have to do some changes on the Raspberry Pi Pico W itself. Then get your Raspberry Pi Pico W, plug in the USB to your computer, hold the button on Raspberry Pi for 2 seconds and then plug in the micro USB to the Raspberry Pi Pico W. After you plug it in, in about 2-3 to three seconds, let it go. After you plug it into the computer, you instantly see a pop-up page showing RPI RP2. If you don't see this pop-up, go to this PC and check that you have RPI RP2 in your storages. The next thing you have to do is double click on it, go inside the folder and delete everything inside it. Now that you deleted everything, go ahead and paste the micropython.uf2 file that you downloaded earlier inside this folder. Once you do that, you see that the folder disappears, the storage disappears. This means that MicroPython is installed correctly on your Raspberry Pi Pico W. Now go ahead and open the Tani ID. As you can see, once we open the Tani ID, it says it is connected to Raspberry Pi Pico W and we are ready to write some code. At this stage, we have a Raspberry Pi Pickle W with MicroPython installed on it and an ID working with it and we can make any project that we want. Let's go ahead and build a simple project to flash the built-in LEDs on Pico W. So this is the code for it, you can change time that is sleep to make the flashing interval different. Now that we write the code, we have to go to File, Save As and choose Raspberry Pi Pico and inside that we have to put the name of this file, main.py and go ahead and save it. Once you do that, you can go up and click on Run. When we click on the Run, you can see that we didn't get any type of error, meaning we did everything most likely correctly. As you can see, the built-in LED on the Raspberry Pi Pico W is now flashing, and this means our first project was successful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Other than this, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.